Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck next week. A friendship encompasses trust, care, and harmony. Whether it be humans, animals, or mammals, friendships of all kinds do exist. You have heard cows or dogs have best friends, and when they are separated from each other, develop negative feelings of loneliness and isolation. As humans, we confide feelings to one another in hopes burdens can be relieved, as friends give us support. In this video, you will see some amazing and unusual friendships between humans and animals. They are real, beautiful, and show us no boundaries exist between friends. Number 10. Lisa Jenkins. Dingoes are wild dogs found in Australia, and most people know to keep them right away from them. They're dangerous and have been known to kill humans. So why would anyone want one as a pet, especially when they can kill you? Ask this question to Lisa Jenkins. Lisa admits that even though she knows that dingoes are just as wild and dangerous as tigers, she still keeps them in her house. She even sleeps with them some nights. The two dingoes have proven to be pretty close, but they also appear to have one with owner Lisa. Lisa does admit that keeping dingoes is a lot of hard work because they're not like regular dogs. No, they're literally wild dogs that can kill those around them with ease. Even though she knows that fact, she keeps the dogs around. Despite how totally unpredictable the dingoes can be. Lisa insists that she has a bond with the two wild dogs, it just proves that no matter how different you are, you can be friends with anyone if you try hard enough. Before we move on, we've got a speed challenge for you. If you subscribe to top 10 videos and hit the bell icon in the next 5 seconds, you'll win 10 years of incredible luck, give it a shot, it actually works. Number 9. Cheeto. When you think of crocodiles, you think of terrifying red-eyed creatures, and that's because most of them are like that. We all know crocodiles will eat you alive if they get the chance, but not the sweet kind Pocho. Who's Pocho? Relax man, relax, sleep a little bit, relax, enjoy. He was a crocodile that measured in at an amazing 5 meters long and 20 years ago, he was suffering from a very bad injury. He was lying in the Paris Mina River and lying on the bank after a farmer had shot him. That was when Cheeto came along. A friendly local man who helped the crocodile and saved the animal's life. When the crocodile was finally better, Cheeto took him back to the river, letting the crocodile go, but Pocho followed him home. After that, with a new bond quickly growing, the humans and animals spent hours and hours playing and swimming in the nearby river. Pocho even responded when Cheeto called out his name. That's an amazing bond that no one can explain. Pocho died of natural causes in the water outside Shedden's home in Sikwars on October 12, 2011. Number 8. Damien Aspinall. A long time ago a gorilla was born in an English wildlife park. That gorilla was called Quibi. Kifu's very, very gentle. I mean, he's a wild gorilla, so he is... He lets me know he's boss. And that wildlife park belonged to conservationist Damien Aspinall. Once the gorilla was old enough, it was eventually released into the wild and was taken to Gabon, West Africa. It was assumed that the gorilla had forgotten all about Damien, but the man still traveled to Gabon five years later to try and find Quibi. They searched for hours and hours, wondering if the animal would even react to the man in a good way. During their long search, Quibi suddenly appeared on the side of the river Damien was traveling on, so what happened when Damien got close enough to see the gorilla? Quibi reacted with love and sat right down with Damien touching and holding him and pulling the man in closer. The gorilla even appeared to smile at Damien as Damien fed him, if this isn't pure friendship, we don't know what is. Number 7. Casey Anderson. Casey Anderson always seemed to have a close connection with animals. A lot of us humans think that, but not all of us go as far as to interact with bears, and not just interact with them, but befriend them as well. Seven years ago, Brutus came into my life and he was literally this big. Today Brutus nearly weighs a thousand pounds. Grizzly bears are one of the most dangerous creatures out there, but Casey didn't let that stop him from befriending the 800-pound Brutus. It all began when Casey stumbled upon Brutus, who was lying next to his dead mother. It was a sad sight in the mountains, but Casey helped the cub and looked after him. 
Eventually, the Brutus got bigger and bigger and could no longer be kept in the home. So we established a sanctuary for the animals. Ever since then the human and bear have been attached at the hip, and nothing can pull them away from each other. Brutus was even Casey's best man at his wedding, proving their undying friendship. Number 6. Shirley and Tony. Not a lot of people would look at a baby hippo and think, yeah, I want that one. Despite staying mostly in water hippos can attack you, and if you're lucky enough you might have the chance to escape because hippos aren't the friendliest of creatures. But that's exactly what happened with the kind couple, Shirley and Tony. They found a little hippo who had been separated from her mother, and that was when the friendship started. They called her Jessica, and thankfully Tony knew exactly how to look after the hippo. He knew how to make formula for the newborn with the couple treating the hippo like a baby. Jessica isn't held in captivity, and Shirley has said that if the hippo really wanted to take off and leave she could. But no matter what, Jessica always comes back to the river she lives in. And one that's close to Shirley and Tony, so they could come and watch over. The hippo, whenever they want. The hippo sometimes even comes to Shirley and Tony's house where she literally sleeps on the porch with their pet dog. Number 5. Kevin Richardson. Have you ever heard of a human becoming friends with a hyena? Probably not. Zookeeper Kevin Richardson decided to defy all odds and be that person who becomes friends with a hyena. Even though the animal is often labeled as dangerous, terrifying, and constantly on the prowl Kevin wasn't all that bothered. He just wanted to be friends with the animals despite their bad reputation. Over the years, Kevin has gotten very close to hyenas, so close that they even give him hugs. While most humans would probably be dead on the spot, there must be something special about the man. Number 4. Celinda. Namal is a baby elephant who was unfortunately abandoned, and to make things even worse for the poor elephant, he lost part of his leg thanks to a trap. And because of that, life can be a little hard for him. He doesn't get to play with all the other elephants. Meaning he doesn't get the kind of social interaction that all elephants need, and because of that returning to the wild might not be an option for poor Namal. Namal does have his friendly keeper, though Celinda helps look after the elephant, which includes washing Namal and just generally being around him. Because Namal doesn't interact with other elephants all too often, Celinda is the only real social bonding he has. Meaning they've created a pretty strong friendship, the two spendings their days together in a sanctuary that is dedicated to helping and looking after other orphaned elephants. And even if Namal does have some struggles, he does have Celinda right there by his side. Celinda is a great friend to the elephant and helps Namal as best as he can. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 3. Jane Goodall. Chimpanzees can be dangerous. They can be life-threatening too, and there have been stories of chimps going wild and completely mauling their owners. But Jane Goodall isn't afraid of chimps at all. In fact, she even lets the animals play with her hair while she just sits there. Thanks to Jane, we've been able to learn a lot about chimps since she spent literally decades out in the forests of Tanzania observing them. Jane is very, very close to chimps, and in one of her books, she even created a family scrapbook containing photos of the animals. Jane believes that each chimp she has come across has been different and that they all have their own unique personalities, just like us humans. Jane even went as far as naming her chimp friends, and she calls a couple of them Fifi and David Greybeard. All in all, if it wasn't for Jane and her close friendship with the animals, there's a lot we wouldn't know about chimps. Number 2. Fricky Von Soames. What should you do when you see a lion? If I guess maybe run, scream, sit there and cry, most of us would freak out upon finding a lion. But Fricky Von Soames was completely calm and cool when he met Zion. To be fair, Zion was only a little lion cub when he and Fricky met, but that didn't stop their friendship from growing. The lion cub's mother couldn't be found so it was Fricky who took care of the little animal. 
There were some nights where they even slept in the same bed, and now the years have passed and Zion is all grown up but Freaky isn't going anywhere. He still takes the lion out on walks and the two seem to see each other just about every day. Even though the lion can very easily pounce and hurt Freaky, Freaky doesn't seem to mind at all. The man somehow tamed one of the wildest animals on earth. Number 1. Abdullah Shola. Do you want to be friends with a tiger? Probably not. We know for a fact that they can be wildly dangerous, and it's best to just keep away from them altogether. But Abdullah Shola had no plans on doing that and he's been friends with a tiger for over a decade. It began when Abdullah would simply look after the baby tiger when the cub was only three months old, but as the years went by their friendship grew and soon they became closer and closer. Sometimes the two of them even go to sleep in the same enclosure, which is solid proof of just how close they are. While most people would die within a second if a tiger looked at them, Mulan Abdullah's tiger instead plays with the man they play with, fights and even kisses, doing things that no one ever really sees a tiger does. Abdullah has said that he does his best to understand the tiger's mood and feelings in order to live with her. Showing just how much he cares for the tiger. And that's the 10 most unusual friendships between humans and wild animals. Now you say, do you ever want to be friends with any wild animal? Let us know in the comment box. In the end, just like this video and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon for more amazing videos.